Hi, Safety Ray here, and welcome to this edition of Awkward Conversations with Safety Ray. Today, we have with us Mr. John Regan. John is the Vice President of Learning and Development at the Keeley Companies. So welcome, John. Good to have you aboard, Great. buddy. Thanks for having me, man. Yeah, man. Should be good. Good. Tell me, how does, does uh, the LMS, Learning Management System that we have, help to drive zero? Yeah, it's a great question. So the LMS, it's our digital university, if you want to look at it that way. Yeah, when we were smaller, it was really easy to have everybody come to a monthly safety meeting, right? Uh, or come to a morning safety meeting. But as we get bigger and we have more offices, it gets harder and harder to get everybody physically together. So we have to have some way of transferring information about about zero uh, and all the other learning buckets that we have. But specifically when it comes to zero, being able to have a resource that you can pull up digitally on your phone, uh, log in and have access to all of the great safety content that we have, uh, whether that's for your personal learning, right? Because we always need to be constantly learning ourselves, but also to share with your team. And we've got these great videos, these awkward videos out there that I could pull up in the field as part of a pre-task and have my crew watch on my iPad, on my phone, or my computer. So it really pushes the information to everybody and removes a lot of the he said, she said when it comes to safety, where people can get the information straight from the source. But you brought up something about the field team. So how does the your, uh, what do you call it, your road show? Yes. How does that work and, yeah. and what's the purpose? The road show is us taking the learning to the field. So we meet the guys where they're at. Uh, we've got some content that we've produced specifically. Most of it's actually about safety. Uh, the concepts of WD-40, we talk a lot about, uh, unfortunately, uh, intoxication awareness. Um, those are just a couple of the examples. But when we go out on, into the field for a road show, I'll show up in the Keeley U truck. Uh, we've got a TV in the back with a sound system, and we're going to talk about it. It's going to be a short 15-minute clip. And then we'll have discussion afterwards about how does this apply to their job. Uh, we've got some limited edition swag, so it never hurts to give the guys the good stuff. Yeah. Uh, and then I roll off to the next site. So we want to make sure that we're getting the information out to the teams in good. person. Do you believe in zero? You know, it's great. Zero is one of these things that we have to be able to say, yes, I believe in. And yet at the same time, we have to wrestle with what does it mean to us as an individual? Um, what I have seen in my journey when I started back in the company, the way that zero was uh, proposed to me in a well-meaning manner was somebody said, do you think we can ever have zero incidents? And the engineer in me really had a problem with that because when I looked at it in the long term, I said, well, people make mistakes and there's going to be incidents that happen. But what I had to do is really take a look at it from a bigger picture than just the logical side of things, right? At the Keeley companies, we believe that we're family and that we should hold each other accountable. So if I just said, well, zero, there's, there's statistically going to be an accident, right? That's number one, that's a cop out because that's me saying, well, I'm not going to do anything about it. But number two, that's not part of our culture of holding each other accountable and seeing that the person next to me, right? You're my brother, you're my sister. How can I morally and ethically accept that it's okay for you to get hurt? And so what we need to do is look at it is safety. The concept of zero and being safe is something that we do have control of, but we have to constantly be aware of. And so when you look at zero, it's not something you check the box and say, yep, we're zero. Um, you look at it and you say, as we move forward, what can I do to be vigilant, to be ever evolving in my understanding of zero? Because at the end of the day, I am responsible for my safety. I'm responsible for helping to make sure that you're safe. And I'm also empowered to be able to make those differences. So do I believe in zero? Absolutely, I do. Yeah. One of the things that I think is important that we, we understand is, is that what we're really striving to do is to remove errors out of the equation. And if we can remove the errors through operational performance and with the interaction of human performance, I think we involve the guys in the decision making basically is what that is by asking them what they need and then addressing those needs in order to reduce the opportunity for those errors. So I think that that was well put. So what do you do to get awkward for safety? Yeah, I think we have this kind of a discussion, right, where we ask the questions, the hard questions, and then we're willing to hear responses back and meet people where they're at in their journey. Hey, I appreciate the opportunity to talk to you today. I, I always do, John. You're a fascinating guy. So Thanks. are you ready to close? I we're going to do the hashtag Keeley Safe on three. Ready? Okay. One, two, three. Keeley, Keeley safe. safe. Stay awkward, my friends.